What is up my Tickle Me crew, this is Chad here, and today I'm bringing you guys another live Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. So today's battle is against Caleb, he's a passerby, and uh, I'm using a few, I guess we could call them interesting sets. Um, these are just some funny sets that I thought I would love to try in a battle. <laughs> but uh, you guys will see what I mean, these sets are definitely like completely unorthodox. Um, but Caleb is bringing uh, a pretty scary team, actually. The Greninja makes his team Ubers, as well as the Blaziken. Um, I'm going to lead off with Tic Tac, just because I need the support. And uh, we'll see where that takes us. But uh, I cannot wait for you guys to see some of these sets that I'm using today. Some of them are just plain ridiculous. But uh, let's see what Caleb is going to lead off with. I could see maybe the Blaziken, but yeah, we're going to lead off with Galvantula here, as he actually leads off with Fortress. So uh, this actually isn't that bad for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up our Sticky Webs. Uh, actually, yeah, you know what, let's go, let's go for the Sticky Web. He may actually predict that and just go straight for the Rapid Spin to uh, break my Sash, but he's actually going to go for the Toxic Spikes. And uh, that's interesting. So let's actually go ahead and switch out. Um, let's go out into... Let's go out into Fist Me Please, the Machamp. And you guys will see this, uh, this set that I'm running on this Machamp is uh, pretty, uh, pretty out there, let's just say. But uh, we're unfortunately going to get poisoned from the Toxic Spikes. Now he's going to set up these Stealth Rocks, which is pretty annoying. But, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to catch Caleb off guard here um, with this move choice. So, we're going to go straight for the Fire Blast. Yes, guys, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is a special attacking Machamp. So, let's go straight for the Fire Blast here. He's actually Quick Claw. That's really interesting. Alright, he's going to Volt Switch out, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to kill off this Fortress. But, uh, what's he gonna bring in? Maybe the Blaziken to get some Brave... He actually goes out into Muck. I was gonna say Brave Bird Blaziken, but... Alright, so he's gonna get hit by a Fire Blast. Let's see how much damage this does. I'm actually Choice Specs. But, uh, that actually does a decent chunk. And we get the Burn, which is nice. So, that's gonna cancel out his Black Sludge recovery, basically. Um, let's go ahead and switch out, and... I don't know, what should we go out into? Um... Uh, let's see... I kinda wanna go out into Wayne. I think if you send out a poison type on toxic spikes, it absorbs them. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, and it might not work because Wayne is a flying type as well. So, I'm not sure about that. Um, what about Dickhead? Nah, I don't really have anything for Muck, so I'm, I might struggle a little bit with this Muck. But, uh, let's go out into Wayne. And, uh, we'll try to get rid of these Toxic Spikes. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, since I'm a Flying type. But, uh, we'll see. Stealth Rocks are gonna hurt a little bit. And no, I do not get rid of the Toxic Spikes, so that really sucks. They are here to stay, I do not have any kind of uh, entry hazard getter rid of us on this team. No Defoggers, no uh, Rapid Spinners, which kind of sucks. But uh, right here, I'm just going to go for the Nasty Plot, as I'm not sure if this Muck really has anything that it can do to me. Alright, so he does not carry the Ice Punch, which is nice to know. He's actually going to bring out the Fortress, so this is actually pretty good for us. Um, because we do carry the Heat Wave on this Crobat. So we're going to raise our special attack by two stages, effectively doubling our special attack. And let's go for a Heat Wave. And uh, this should one hit... Oh, we miss our Heat Wave! Are you kidding me? That is huge. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? We miss our heat wave. 
that's huge. <sighs> Damn it, he's gonna bring out the Green Ninja now. <sighs> Fuck, man. Uh, why do we have to miss those damn 90% accuracy moves? Um, we should outspeed, so I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Fighting, and we'll see how much damage this does. Um, it's not quite going to kill, unfortunately, but he does go for the Ice Beam. That is going to kill our Crobat, unfortunately. So that sucks. But, let's see, what can we go into here? Um... We could... I don't know if he could kill us, though. Because we're not Focus Sash. But I'm just going to go out into Margaret. And uh, let's go for a Spore. The Toxic Spikes are really annoying. As well as those uh, stones. But yeah, let's go for a Spore. What is he going to switch out into? Maybe he doesn't want his Greninja being put to sleep. Seems like he's going to switch because uh, he's thinking about what he wants to do. He seems like he's thinking a lot. Taking him a while to pick his move. Alright, there we go. So we are going to land the Spore, of course, it's 100 accuracy. Um, so Greninja's asleep, that is that is a great thing, and he stays asleep first turn, so no first turn wake ups here. Um, I'm just going to go straight for the Belly Drum. This is a sweeping Smeargle set, <laughs> of all things. So yeah, let's go for a Belly Drum here. I really wish the Smeargle had like Drain Punch or something, just to help us stay alive. Alright, he does stay asleep, so that's wonderful. And uh, we're basically only going to be able to get off one attack, so let's just go for the extreme speed. And uh, that's going to kill off the Greninja at least. And uh, I think the Toxic is actually going to take us out here, which really sucks. Oh, we actually live with 2 HP. Alright, so we can get off one more attack, but he's probably going... Yeah, I was going to say he's probably going to go out into Fortress. And let's just go for the Sucker Punch. I'm not sure if he's going to go for an attack or not. He actually does go for an attack. And that Sucker Punch does a ton of damage with a crit. And uh, he's going to go for the Volt Switch and take out Margaret. So that really sucks. Um, we've lost two of our decent Pokemon, I believe. And uh, let's see what he's going to bring in. He brings out the Muck. Okay. Um, what can we do? Alright, so he's at about half. What could one-shot this Muck? I'm honestly not sure if I have anything that can one-shot the Muck. But I'm going to go... I'm going to go out into Tic Tac, and uh, we're just going to go for a Thunder. I'm not sure if it'll kill, but it's our best chance. Now he could go for the Shadow Sneak, which is actually kind of scary, but I don't know. Okay, he doesn't go for Shadow Sneak. Will this Thunder kill? Please kill, please. Uh, no. But the, uh, the burn damage is going to take him out, I believe. Yeah, I think the burn is definitely going to take him out after this turn. Um, let's see. Other threats on his team, definitely that Blaziken. Um, I don't remember his entire team right off the bat, or right off my head, you know what I mean. Uh, he goes out in Fortress. And he's probably just going to leave this thing in to die. So we're just going to go for a Thunder here. And hopefully that'll kill the Fortress. That does end up killing the Fortress, which is nice. Alright, what's he going to bring out next? 
So Tic Tac is definitely putting in the work right now. He does decide to go out into Blaziken. I definitely see him going for a Protect here. Um, just to get that speed boost. Um, so... I think I'm going to stay in. And I'm just going to go for the Thunder. He is going to be a Mega Blaziken. Will we see the Protect here? Or is he just going to go straight for the Attack? Okay, he is going to go for a Protect, but with the uh, Sticky Web, he's only going to be neutral speed. But uh, I think even then, he's actually still able to outspeed us. But I don't know, Galvantula is actually pretty quick. Um, so I'm not sure if he's going to outspeed or not. Galvantula is fast, but I think Mega Blaziken is faster. We actually do outspeed, so maybe Galvantula is faster? I'm not sure. Or maybe he's just adamant, I don't know. He goes for Shadow Claw, that's a weird... That's kind of a weird move on a Blaziken. But he is going to get that speed boost, which really sucks. I'm going to go out into Crunchwrap here. This is our Destiny Bond, Sharpedo. And, uh, oh crap, I forgot about all the hazards. That's going to break our Sash. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that sucks. We have no choice. We have to go for Waterfall. We have to pray that we can live a hit. He goes for a Protect for whatever reason. Man, I wish I went for Destiny Bond right there. That would have been wonderful. Um, what is he going to do? Man, I wish we went for Protect that last turn. I mean, uh, Destiny Bond that last turn. I'm just going to go for Waterfall. He's, he's probably going to kill us. Goes for uh, Sky Uppercut, that's definitely going to kill Sharpedo. Yeah, there's no way that wasn't going to kill. Now that really sucks. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I can live a hit with Machamp. I know Machamp's reasonably bulky, and I am max HP, but those hazards are really annoying. I'm going to be a troll here, and I'm going to go for the Hyper Beam. Let's go for the Hyper Beam. He's going to protect as we go for the Hyper Beam. Oh no, that means we're going to have to uh, recharge on the next turn, I think. Or maybe not. Do we have to recharge this turn? So my opponent's basically at, like, cap speed right now. This is ridiculous. Um, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's just go for the Focus Blast. Oh, I'm choice spec into Hyper Beam. Fuck. He goes for Shadow Claw. What? Okay, well, Hyper Beam uh, Machamp is going to get a kill here. That is wonderful. Uh, so that is a dead Blaziken. That is wonderful. Never thought I would see the day where Hyper Beam Machamp would actually get a kill. But uh, unfortunately, we're going to recharge the next turn. That's going to let him kill us with his Alakazam. Um, and I think we only have one other Pokemon. So, that really sucks. But yeah, my move's basically locked in because I can't do anything this next turn. He's going to kill us with whatever. Um, he goes for Psy Shock. that's definitely going to kill. That's overkill. Um, and I think our last Pokemon is actually Dickhead. But uh, this was a fun battle. I mean, <laughs> I never thought I would get to use a Hyper Beam... Machamp. That's just, that's ridiculous. But, I feel certain that he's got to be a Magic Guard Alakazam, so I don't even, I really see no point in going for the Toxic. I'm just going to go for the Ancient Power. He actually misses his attack. That is wonderful. Can we get the stat boosts? Oh my god, we get the stat boosts. That is that is wonderful. Can Dickhead bring this back? Um, I'm going to say no because of the Toxic, but... Oh my god. We have a small chance of bringing this back. I'm just going to keep going for Giga Drain here. As he is going to go for Focus Blast, this is going to do a lot of damage, if not kill me. That does a little bit too much damage. He gets the Special Defense drop. That is huge. But we're going to get some HP back. 
Um, unfortunately, I think another Focus Blast is going to kill us. Um, unless he miraculously misses his attack again. He's actually going to withdraw. What? What's he going to go into, though? Mew. So he's got two Psychic types on his team. Now, we can actually Toxic this Mew. Uh, we're going to get some health back. Um, the next turn, I'm going to go for Recover. I'm not sure what this Mew can really do to us. But I'm going to go for Recover here. But I think the battle's over. I think he's going to kill us. He has Drain Punch on his Mew. That's insane. But we live! Oh my god. I can't believe we live that. Dickhead is really bulky. Um, so let's go for another Recover. Get a lot of our HP back. As I'm sure he's just going to keep going for Drain Punch. He's probably going to switch back into the Alakazam. No, he doesn't. He goes for Psychic this time. Um, that's questionable. Actually, I don't know. That Psychic did a, a decent chunk with that uh, Special Defense drop. But uh, right here, I'm going to go for the Toxic. Because we need to start whittling away at this Mew. So yeah, let's go for Toxic. He goes for Dark Pulse. So maybe he's hoping for a flinch or something. I'm not sure what that was for. But uh, we do get our Toxic off. We might actually bring this battle back, guys. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh, maybe not, because a Drain Punch should be able to kill me, I think. I'm going to go for Recover. I'm just going to spam Recover, basically. He goes for Dark Pulse again. Why? I mean, I guess he's hoping for flinches, but why? It doesn't do that much damage. He's better off just going for Drain Punch, honestly, and hoping for a crit. Uh, I don't understand the Dark Pulse plays, but alright. Um, let's go for another Recover, and then I'm going to go for an Ancient Power. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. This guy's just switching up his moves left and right. Um, I'm going to go for another Ancient Power, hoping for a stat boost. As this Mew is taking a lot of damage from Toxic. But yeah, let's go for that Ancient Power. And with a little luck, he might actually switch out. And, uh, okay, he's not going to switch out. But uh, I was going to say, if he switches out and I get this Ancient Power off on the Alakazam and does more damage to the Alakazam, that would be wonderful. Oh my god, we get another stat boost. Oh my god, guys, we might actually bring this back. Holy shit. I can't even believe this right now. I can't even believe this right now. I'm speechless. <laughs> so let's go for recover again. I don't see a reason not to. This is... This is insane, guys. He does go for the drain punch, but we're at like plus two defense. That does nothing. Oh my god. That does nothing. Jesus. Oh my god, guys, we might actually bring this back. I can't even... I can't even imagine the look on my opponent's face right now. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Oh, this is unreal. This is unreal. Miss, miss. Oh, he doesn't miss. This is gonna hurt, though. Can we live, please? Ugh, barely. But he gets oh, he gets another special defense drop. Will this Giga Drain kill? No! Fuck, man. Oh, so close. So close. Oh my god, my heart is pounding, guys. Basically, if he misses his attack, we win. My heart is pounding. Please miss. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god. I can't. I can't believe this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? What the fuck? 
I can't even. Oh my god. Alright, that's enough Pokemon for the night. I, I need to go to bed on that one. Holy shit, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy has to be so fucking pissed right now. Oh. Alright guys, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, favorite, subscribe. Links as always in the description below for my social media. I love you guys. Toodles.